Alex Mackay and his wife Rubina have fond memories of his uncle George Murdoch. The taxi driver's brutal murder 38 years ago today is still sometimes too much to bear. It's a horrific thing, so I can't, I can't think about that. I really just can't. And so I really try and think about the, the good times that we had together um, with him, my Aunt Jessie. A lot of great memories um, with the New Year parties and the holidays with them and what have you. Um, but what I do think about today is the, uh, the killer uh, is wandering around, enjoy. It's a beautiful day in Aberdeenshire. He's wandering around and enjoying it. I wish my uncle had the same opportunity to wander around. The 58-year-old was on an evening shift in Aberdeen on the 29th of September 1983 when he was flagged down by a man in his 20s heading for Peter Cooter. Minutes later, his cab turned off onto the city's Pitfoddle Station Road. George was violently attacked with a cheese wire similar to this replica. Two teenagers on bikes witnessed the struggle and cycled for help. But the taxi driver suffered severe injuries to his head, face and neck and died at the scene. Now his family have launched an online appeal and a £10,000 reward has been doubled for any information to help catch George's killer. We've got a catalogue of, of, of archive material. The inquiry done in 1983 was, was massive. Uh, no stone was left unturned by the inquiry team. 10,000 houses visited, which in itself was a huge task. Uh, the associated questionnaires and, and 8,000 witness statements so firmly believe that the answers are contained within there. And um, we just need that little bit of information to be able to harness that answer out of that material and uh, hopefully get some closure. Alex says the family have struggled to get over his death. His late aunt Jessie was hit particularly hard. Her life was changed completely from that night. I mean, she was scared to... She, I mean, it might sound irrational. And the only people that go through a murder of a loved one or what have you, but, but she... she always thought because the, the killer went away with his, his wallet that he'd come after her. And that's what she lived with in that kind of terror for, for a number of years. The longer this goes, I mean, it's two generations ago and we're the last generation that, that knew my uncle. Um, when we go, if it's not solved, there isn't anybody else. This was a murder which shocked Aberdeen. Alex says both the city and his family can't begin to heal until it's solved. Sharon Donaldson, STV News.